Hi, this is Doug from AppleiPhoneSchool.com and today's question comes from Lisa and she asks, what can I do if my iPhone is running really slow? So, um, the first question was, back to her, of course, I needed to kind of figure this out, was like, what application is running slow? You know, what is it doing? <clears throat> Have you, um, you know, done anything recently to the phone? You know, installed some program or I don't know. So, basically she was saying that like, when she gets a phone call or when she tries to make a phone call, I think it's to answer a phone call, her, you know, she'd swipe to answer the phone call and it would like take like 10 seconds or more to display the actual phone application and function properly and all that stuff. So uh, that's definitely a problem. And um, I don't know. The best answer is the horrible answer, which is like erase your whole phone and reinstall everything, which I don't want to start there. So I start with the first thing I want to, you need to do is like force close all of your applications, which means um, if you double tap your home button, your screen will slide up and there'll be a row of icons. Those are the icons that you've used recently, the apps that you've recently. So you just hold your finger around there on one of the icons, they'll start to wiggle, you get a little minus sign like you're deleting them from your phone, but you're not, you're deleting them from the current memory and what's running. So I would go through and just close everything. Maybe some application is screwed up and it's stuck in the background and it's eating up all the resources of your phone. And so that's the first place I start. So next, um, I would reboot your phone and restart your phone. Um, I have, some people say they're the same thing, other people say they're not. Whatever, definitely do both. The, um, I've had my phone fixed by doing one and not the other, and vice versa. So rebooting and restarting, one of them is you can totally shut it down, just like on a computer. You can shut it all the way off, power it off. Okay, so on the iPhone, you hold that lock button on the top until it says slide to power off. Slide your finger across there phone will shut down you'll see like a little spinning waiting wheel and eventually it'll completely shut off sometimes it takes a few seconds before you can turn it back on but you just hold that power button again you'll get the apple logo phone will boot up and there you go you restarted to reboot it you hold down that lock button and the home button at the same time wait till you see an apple symbol so it'll go black then you get apple let go and it'll boot back up so sometimes maybe just a actual part of the phone software, especially if it's the phone, um, that would clear that out and restart it. So it sounded like she had done most of those things. Um, she Oh, another thing was uh, check to make sure that you have the latest firmware. So you just go into your settings and there's a software update tab. I think it's under general so settings, general software update. And you just... Uh, run the update, whatever the newest firmware is now. She doesn't have a jailbroken phone, so she can do that. If you're jailbroken, do not update. It'll erase your uh, your jailbreak. So you probably already know that if you're jailbreaking your phone, though. So um, Then the next thing you can do is uh, make sure that all of your apps are up to date. So maybe one of your applications is still messing with things and make sure all the apps in the app store are up to date. So after you've done all these things, you've got a major problem if it's still happening. And the only other things I can suggest is that there is this actual software glitch somewhere in your operating system from Apple, the original software, not an application you've added. And so I would go and um, I would make sure that your phone's backed up, whether you've plugged it into a uh, computer or you plugged it or you use the iCloud which we have other videos for that back up your phone and then if you go you don't even have to use a computer to erase your phone you can just go into your settings I think it's settings general reset and one of them is erase all content and data so you're erasing all of your personal stuff all of Apple stuff the whole operating system everything and then it will re-download it um, actually I can't remember if you have to be on Wi-Fi or not. You may have to be on data for Apple to, well, you at least activate the phone and things like that, but um, it may be on a partition or a 
that means a place on your disk drive that will reinstall the software from the very beginning. Now, the bad thing about that is you would obviously open your phone, you'd have no texts, you'd have no contacts, you'd have no apps, you'd have whatever. So then what you need to do is go, uh, when you're, well, actually when your phone, sorry, when your phone reboots, it will be like it came out of the box. And one of your choices is um, restore from an iCloud backup. So, or restore from a computer. <coughs> Excuse me. So I would definitely use the iCloud. It's super easy and it's free as long as you're not filling it with a bunch of stuff. So you can just restore from your iCloud backup. It'll download all your apps. It'll put all your settings. It'll put your wallpaper back. It'll put your ringtones back. It'll put everything back. Um, some apps require passwords to be re-entered just in case someone's trying to steal your phone or steal, use another phone to reactivate and be, pretend to be you or something. So um, that would be the next step. So what you've basically done is you've taken off all your personal stuff and all the apps. You've reinstalled Apple's operating system. You've put all your stuff back on there. Now, if it still does it, something in one of your settings is screwed up, something in something in the, the personal data or the information that you've done on your phone has got a glitch. And now you're at the point of you're going to have to reset your phone again and you're going to have to not restore it from a backup. So that's really bad and I hate when it happens and I've only had to do that I think once ever um, just because you kept having issues. Another thing that you can do which isn't fun but you could wait till the next firmware update. So the next firmware update which is iOS 7 so the new firmware is coming out in September most likely and I know this is a horrible answer but it is an answer because there's times when I've had a glitch on my phone and especially because I've jailbroken things and then removed it or who knows what and it's gotten stuck <clears throat> and I'm like uh, like right right now on my iPad it doesn't show me the notification when I have it uh, updates on my app store because I turned that off once in a jailbreak and I didn't turn it back on before I upgraded it, and it's still stuck in my settings uh, data. So even though my device isn't jailbroken, the jailbreak is affecting it because it, it changed. It's called the P-list. It's, it's a list of settings. This on, this off, this on, this off. Well, Apple doesn't let you turn that off. Actually, they do now, but not. I don't think they do for the App Store, <clears throat> whether you want the badge or not. But mines must be set in a different location or something because I cannot get that to come back. But anyways, off topic. Um, so that would be really bad if you had to restore your whole phone and go back from scratch, but um, there, there are some instances before I did that, if I were you, I would take it into the Apple Store. Make sure you're backed up to an iCloud, and then go into the Apple Store and tell them what's going on. The, some of the, the other thing, the first thing I asked her was, which phone do you have? Is it the 4, 4S? Because I can see your phone. She said it's 4S, so it should be able to handle the software okay. <clears throat> this is something I don't like about Apple, and it reminds me of Windows, is they make the operating system be able to do more and more, and they try to make people happy by putting out older software, but eventually the, so the phones can't handle the new software, and it just bogs it down, and it gets slow, and, and you're just going to have to go get a new phone. So, good luck with that. But I would be upgrading your phone a little more often, sell your other one. If it's out of contract, you can sell it for a lot um, on an eBay or you can trade it in a lot of places or whatever and get you a new phone and it's not going to really cost you anything. Um, it's even, especially when the new iPhone 5S or 6 comes out, the 5S and the 4S will be like 99 cents the new year con with a two new year contract with most companies and so you can just get rid of your old junky 3GS or iPhone 4 and upgrade because you'll be out of contract. So there you go, that's a really bad last answer, but sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and upgrade. So, or don't upgrade your phone to the newer firmwares, but that's a horrible answer too. So start with the, the beginning of my video and get here before you get here. Uh, thanks for, this is a really long video, I'm sorry. I rambled, but I just wanted to fill you with information. I want you to know what I know what Apple does and what they know and what their expectations are. So, um, go ahead and tweet us at Apple, at I, 
the at Apple iPhone School. Um, Facebook us, uh, website us, YouTube us, something, and um, or ask me in person. A lot of these have been in person, so apparently lots of my Facebook friends are watching my videos. So thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.